Dennis Owens as our Master of Ceremonies. Dennis, welcome. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Good. Good. Can we have a round of applause for the food? <laughs> Do you have that food here every day in the cafeteria? It's outstanding. I think I'm going to come down for lunch more often. Um, and for the record, I did wear the school colors. <laughs> I want to thank whoever it is that gave me the Mr. Dennis Owens Very Important Person banner. I cannot wait to take this home to my wife. I have a two, I have a two and a half year old and a six month old. And when she hands me the baby saying it needs a changing, I'm going to say, oh no. I'm a very important person. <laughs> or perhaps when Flora Pastorero, one of my co-anchors, says, Dennis, can you get me coffee the way I like it, you know, two lumps of sugar and drink? I'm going to say, oh no, Flora, I'm a very important person. So maybe this will get me uh, out of some of those duties. Then again, I realized there is a pin on the back, and that probably would be used against me knowing my wife <laughs> and Flora. But um, we celebrate tonight 50 years. Back in 1959, when this school, and I know there's the whole asterisk with the class of 58 that graduated here but didn't go here. 1959, though, we celebrate. Back in 1959, Americans still liked Ike. And my favorite line, I think I wrote it. I, I want to patent this line or copyright this line. Dwight Eisenhower, the only president with a Gettysburg address. <laughs> think about it. There's no history class here today, but it's absolutely true. Um, in 1959, Americans loved Ben-Hur and Charlton Heston in that movie. They swept the Academy Awards in 1959. Max the Knight, Bobby Darin. Uh, Anybody out there remember these things that I'm talking about? Ben Hur, Bobby Darren, Max the Knife, I'm not going to say it for you. In sports, the Dodgers won the World Series, Boston Celtics won the NBA championship, and there was no Super Bowl. The Super Bowl had not yet been born, and the Baltimore Colts defeated the New York Giants for the NFL championship. In 1959, Alaska became the 49th state, and the 49th star flag was unveiled in Philadelphia in 1959, Hawaii much better call than Alaska, frankly, would be added in 1961 year later. Um, but tonight, the presence of East Pennsboro over 50 years is to be celebrated. And we do it on this night, but the fact of the matter is, you don't do this in just one night. The fact of the matter is, East Pennsboro has been celebrated all 50 of those years by the people in this room tonight and by a lot of people who aren't in this room tonight. Some great alumni who have gone into the mid-state and across the country and across, across the globe and have done some incredible things. This is an anniversary for me. This week, 16 years ago, I came to Harrisburg to work at WHTM as, Craig said, a much younger person, a sportscaster. Craig likes to joke that, you know, he liked to be a football coach and then, you know, he got demoted to principal. <laughs> well, I was in sports and got demoted to news and then six o'clock anchor. Uh, I enjoyed the sports time. And when I was a sportscaster, early in my career, uh, I had the opportunity to interview Mickey Schuler. I found him to be thoughtful, well-spoken, classy, and large. <laughs> when I switched to news, and actually right now, uh, probably every couple of weeks, I find myself interviewing D.A. Ed Marsico. I find him to be thoughtful, classy, well-spoken, and not so large. <laughs> but nonetheless, both very large figures in this community, and those are two very good examples of East Pennsboro graduates who are out there. But why am I here tonight? I am here tonight for one very simple, basic, and important reason. Well, to honor all of you and to honor the efforts of East Pennsboro, but also because Helen Belsack asked me to. Helen Belsack, in case you don't know, is one of the classiest people and important people that we in the media deal with. She, without the skirt, is your biggest cheerleader. Uh, whenever there's anything positive happening in the East Pennsboro School District, she is relentless in her phone calls to our newsrooms, not just our station, but all of the stations. She makes sure we get it covered. Um, and I'm here also because, unfortunately, and there will be tears shed at my TV station when she leaves and she's retiring. Uh, unfortunately, um, she is leaving, and she asked me, can you please come out and do this? And I believe the last time you called me, it was to do a musical.